Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney, if you are new here. In today's video, I am going to be demonstrating how I do this graphic liner with a little bit of a pop of color, so blue mascara and a blue liner on the inner membrane. If you'd like to see how I created this look, please continue to watch, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. I'm gonna start off with Azurite Blue 100. This is from KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Liner. It's really cool because it is retractable and so you just turn this part and, and go for it. So I'm going to line the inner rim. So I'm lining that inner rim bottom and top because since I'm going to go in with a blue mascara I want that to continue from the inner membrane out through the lash. Since it's such a, a small area, I want it to appear as large so that you can see the color and get those corners as well. These are really nice. They're nice and smooth. You can really build them up so that you get that really nice intense look, intense color. Now I'm gonna take that same type of liner from KVD Beauty in Trooper Black 10. Let's roll it up a little. Did I just go cross-eyed? I want to make a little line because I I want to create this a block of black and then you just run that a nice thick line along the bottom lash line. You want to get it right up to the lashes but you don't want to get it inside because you don't want to muddy up the blue. And then I'm going across the top lash line but I'm making it pretty thin. I just want to back the lashes because I want that blue to really pop. For the tail, I want it to dip down slightly. I don't want it to go up like a classic cat liner. I want it to go out and a little downturned. I love that look, it's very like Chrissy Hind. So just take your time with it. You wanna keep that thickness throughout. And just take a step back, make sure they're going in the same direction and that they're at the same length getting there. Try to get it as squared off as you can, but you can always go in with a q-tip and really like crisp it out. You can even go in with a liquid liner to make it really precise, but I don't care. I like it when things look a little lived in. Okay, so now we're going to curl the lash. This is a Shuamora lash curler. I find this look looks really cool too, even if you don't choose to wear a mascara. You don't always have to wear a mascara, but for this, I really wanted to continue that cobalt blue. Next, I'm using Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. This way you can see where you're putting the mascara because my lashes, I use Revita Lash, so it grows them. It makes them a little bit thicker, but I do have some that are a little bit thinner and this helps, helps to make it thicker. And it also lightens the lash so when you are putting on the blue, it intensifies a little bit more. Bat Gal Bang by Benefit. This is one of the best blue mascaras that I've found. This one's a bit old, so it takes me a little bit of time to build up the color, but this is honestly the, the best formula and color that I've tried so far. Always on the lookout. If you have any ideas or if you've tried color mascaras that you really like, please let me know because I dig a color mascara. I use the white from the Snow Queen from Drew Barrymore's line, Flower, Flower, Flower Beauty. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. It makes your lashes so long and thick, but it was limited edition and I don't understand it because I cannot find a good white. This was like the first time and it was Perfect. Drew, please, I know you're watching this. Please, more colors and bring that back. Thanks so much. She's not watching this. <sighs> One day. So just load up the blue. It is such a, a, such a great color. Done with the eyes. Line the lips. I can't see this small, but I will link everything in the description box. This is by e.l.f. It's like light brown or something, but don't hold me to it. Just line the lip. I go a little bit bigger. I like that little shadow. 
to be intensified. So I make the lip liner at the bottom lip and the center a little bit thicker, and then I smudge it. You can do that with contour. I've not, I haven't been using contour and I think I really like it. I like a fuller face now that I'm getting older. I feel like it suits me better because everything else is collapsing. These are the greatest. I, these are from Clarence. They're the lip oils. They smell so good and they're so shiny and they hydrate the lip. They're beautiful, beautiful. You don't need a lot of it. It's just so nice. And I don't know what that says, but you know, you know. So that's it for today. I just wanted to do like a, a quick, cool graphic liner, a little bit more turned down, adding like that little pop of color. So let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate everybody who leaves a comment because you don't have to, and it means a lot to me, so thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.